Welcome. Let's have a look at how you can incorporate gamepad support into your game. At any time, by the way, you're welcome to come and borrow a controller. Uh, hopefully, if I have the box of them at the, in the classroom, we have uh, Xbox style controllers and Super Nintendo style controllers for you to use. Um, so we're just going to make a little bit of a change from what we showed you in the uh, how to make a player section. Uh, so in here, you can see instead of just saying uh, in the update function here, which runs 60 times a second, instead of saying just if keyboard dot up, then blah, 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 we can use if gamepad dot up. And so what that will mean is either if you're pressing up the up arrow on the keyboard or W on the keyboard, because both are mapped to keyboard dot up, or if you're pressing up on the gamepad, and again, I think that's the stick or the D pad, um, then we're going to move the player dot Y, increase the player dot Y value by whatever player dot speed is here. And we do the same with the others, gamepad dot down, gamepad dot right, etc. Now, just to be clear what this or does, is uh, the or will trigger this if statement if this is true or this is true. Okay, there are other things in there as well. Uh, there are There is uh, a, a, a command called and, and this would only be triggered if the keyboard was being held up and the gamepad at the same time was being held up, if that makes sense. So these are, are very useful. Um, so they're called logical operators and uh, they can be used to help us if we have multiple op options.